everyone this is monisha from swarit advisors i am one of the managing partner and director of operations over here and today i am going to lead you a way forward towards the process of nbfc registration in india the loan processes area of operation of nbfcs and the recovery process in nbfcs so let's get started First of all we are going to discuss about the various categories of NBFC companies in India to cater the various other financial needs which cannot be satisfied through banks and other financial institution various categories consists of loan company asset finance company uh, then there is infrastructure company microfinance institution recently RBI has harmonized around three categories of nbfc into one category like loan company asset finance company and investment companies are now merged together to form a single category known as icc which means investment and credit company now coming to what are the major provisions which need to be looked after before starting an nbfc in india The first and foremost criteria to get an NBFC started is the provision of net owned fund the minimum capital requirement or the minimum net owned fund requirement for an NBFC is 2 crore rupees if we are going to define what do you mean by a net owned fund then it will be stated like it will be a total of your paid up equity capital your reserves and deducted by your accumulated accumulated losses over the years so whatever comes in the end is your net owned funds it should be free from any kind of lien and it should present a fair and true value of your net assets as on date while going for an nbfc license the first and foremost step is a company registration with ministry of corporate affairs it would be a proposed nbfc company which will be starting off its operation of lending once it will receive license from rbi so there are certain things which we need to take care of at the time of company registration like the name of the company should be identical with the finance world like it should contain the words like finance capital finserv etc the objects of the company should be in inclination with the financial objectives to carry on the business of loans and advances Once we are through with the company registration as well as ascertaining the profiles of directors and shareholders then the next step towards the process is to fill in a criteria of financial director into the board of the company like who is the financial director a director who is having an experience in the banking background so this is a major requirement on the part of rbi that the board of the company must contain a person from the banking or financial background the last but not the least condition to be fulfilled towards preparation of an nbfc application is to draft a well recognized as well as competitive business plan a business plan is a complete detailed planning for the business once once it receives the license from rbi like what the promoter is going to do once the license will be granted what would be its loan products its area of operations for how long the loan will be granted what would be the interest rate so it would be the detailed project projections of all these uh inputs in a detailed report for the next 3 to 5 years in our language we say that business plan is the lifeline of the nbfc application if you are having a good business plan you are showing a good intent to uh to the rpi that you are going to run the business in true spirit After this the file is submitted with RBI. RBI takes care of few points like uh, your loan product, your business profiles, promoter's background, then uh, the, your area of operation and after considering all these points and if it is fine that it is uh, in the public interest as well as in the interest of the financial system of the country then it will grant you an nbfc license for the purpose of uh, the license your total capital of 2 crores will be blocked for a period 
of around six months depending upon the consultant we are you are going ahead with with Swarith advisors we are providing the license in around 90 to 100 days of submission so accordingly you can choose your consultant very wisely to get the license in the least possible timeline that's all for this video see you soon in the next video with some new information thank you